All right, we're going to give uh, voiceover a try today, even though it's still not quite right. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, so this is uh, another five attempt in uh, Star Pack, and I've gradually been working my way through them. And a lot of the, the later game ones are very frustrating. Um, you know, some of the tier four, five, six units it feels like realistically you need to have double swap ready to have any any chance at all. So here you can see I'm taking extra frogs and that's because I'm going to be trying to set up to have two level two frogs or a level three and be able to double swap um, once I find the units that I'm looking for. So we, uh, we get a draw there which is fine. And now I get the cassowary. So cassowary jellyfish seems to me like the most reliable option. The problem is you really have to get cassowary as soon as possible because it's very slow unless you get it to level 2. And you can see here immediately get level 1.5 and another frog to boot. So we're going to potentially get the uh, level up on the frog and then maybe I'll combine into a, into a level 3 as well. Um, Sometimes that can end up being uh, very unfortunate. And actually, here we go against a sat satirical bow who has their own YouTube channel, which I'll link to in the description. We've been getting matched with them a lot. I presume they're working their way through all the achievements in this pack. So here I get the double orangutan on the level up. And that basically sets, you know, when you get a double on a level up, you have to go for it. And, um, Orangutan's one that has been done in this pack before, but uh, I've never done it myself. And I did, I have done it in custom packs, but custom packs is really quite a different, uh, a different thing. It's, you know, you've got so many more scaling options available um, and food items as well. Here we actually get another draw, which is great. So Orangutan is really strange. Um, and you'll see what I'm about to do is that the strategy is you want to try and get the orangutans sort of isolated in the team by themselves as soon as possible because then that means that they can start um, scaling each other and you know none of the health buff or buffs are going to go to waste on other units. So that does mean you're kind of restricted. You can't really use the other scalers like Husky and so on. Or I mean, you guess you could, but you're going to end up wasting a lot of stats um, on units that you're going to have to sell. So you can see what happens here. I do the first transfer and we end up with some more buffs going back onto the jellyfish, even though um, we've just, you know, made it stats the lowest. So now I'm kind of not sure what I should do here. If I should um, swap, I think I, I think I swap the jellyfish stats and then have the jellyfish transfer onto the orangutan. And it's kind of a little bit awkward because of the order that things are going to happen. Um, but we do get double crow here, so I just bin the cassowary and then look to try and level up the orangutans as soon as possible. Unfortunately, the chocolate there did override the, the double lollipop, but we're not quite ready to use that yet. Also, getting one of them orangutans to level two um, very early makes a big difference. So you can see again what happens is the jellyfish gets more buffs. So we really just need to get rid of the other units as soon as possible and start um, focusing the health buffs onto the orangutans only. And I think here, uh, yeah, we actually get the unfortunate hit, double hits from the ant onto the hummingbird and lose that one. I'll level up the orangutan and then we can just get rid of the other units. Um, there's, there's nothing worth swapping anymore, I don't think. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll buy the orangutan Okay, I'm going to swap again. I'm not discouraged for some reason. There were a couple of promising runs I had where I immediately went to one, you know, as soon as I got orangutan, I just went one or two orangutans and then everything else was um, s sold so that immediately they started stacking buffs. The problem was it just, I think I hemorrhaged too many lives early. Um, so here we get a, a platypus, which you might as well just buy sell since I have the full board. We get a little bit of extra health. And we do get a lollipop, which I'm going to use before I sell the crow. And now the, the new orangutan is going to get a big injection of stats here. 25 health from, what was it, 3 or something, 4 or 5? 
and uh, we go against a level up team and I think actually because yeah we're going to scrape another draw because of the, uh, the health buffs from last turn and at this point really I'm just looking for a lollipop so we'll go again on the same orangutan and then we're looking for a pepper as well because we want to prolong, um, you know, stay alive as long as possible to, to stack the buffs. And although it seems like it's really awkward where you're only getting health, we're actually going to, you know, multiple of these orangutans are actually going to hit 50-50 in this game. And uh, you'll see how that happens. We face a lion team, but thankfully their backline was really weak. It is definitely also worth buying the, um, the, the hot dog or the um, orange as well. I guess I could have bought the orange there as well. Um, especially when you only have three units and you're guaranteed to get the hits on the units that you want. And we also get another lollipop, which is amazing because now the, the orangutan with 13 attack is suddenly going to have 34 attack. It's going to um, be a lot stronger in, uh, in battle and drastically increase our chances of not losing more lives. And um, unfortunately, we haven't found any more orangutans, but generally that's not necessarily a bad thing initially because you know, you want all the buffs to be concentrated and if you have multiples then they really get spread out quite a bit i think i freeze double hot dog here yeah since the uh since the front two have pepper it doesn't actually matter too much what their hp is um the only snipers in the pack are vulture uh, and um puffin and i guess hawk as well although i I don't think you see too many people putting Hawk in like first position um, unless it's their biggest unit. So turn 14, we haven't seen another orangutan, but you can see what's happening. The one with Carrot is almost at 50-50 already. Um, we actually need to find um, the, the next one pretty soon because we're going we're gonna to start wasting buffs because we're almost at max stats. And there we get crushed by Velociraptor, which basically happens 90% of the time you're going against Velociraptor plus two massive strawberry units um, maybe I didn't need to buy the um, the hot dog there but I guess you know you just got to take what you can get unfortunately here level two woodpecker at the front is really painful when you've got double front pepper but actually the rest of their team is really weak and um, because we're on turn 15 with only six trophies we're, we're facing much weaker opposition um now, just looking for um, Lollipop again, I do think I take the hot dog and the um, the taco, although now we've got one orangutan on 50 attack. You can see the one at the back, 5 attack, 46 health. So a Lollipop in that is going to be absolutely insane value. And here we do face another Velociraptor, but they, they obviously, I guess, um, or was that Stego that made the Velociraptor 50-50 there? Uh, I was, that was too quick for me but um, Velociraptor just the rest of their team just wasn't strong enough there so now we've got a, two 50-50s and we've got a 7 50 and I'm not sure if it's, it would if the lollipop is going to make the um, the 7 50 a 50 50 in one turn but we're going to find out because we're going down to lethal here. We get the pepper, which is good. And then we can immediately swap it. So 57. So how much do you think it's going to get in one turn? And here I was about to buy the hamster so I could roll for the last orangutan. But you can't do that because as soon as you do it, the orangutans will start giving buffs. Okay, 31. That's not too bad. But again, it doesn't really matter too much. The 50 attack is the most important thing. You can see here we get matched with... Um, you know, a reasonably started team, but as long as they don't have multiple 50 attack units, we're, we're okay. And now we're on nine wins, turn 19. I'm not sure if I've ever gone beyond turn 20 in, um, in pack three. And actually, we, we find the final orangutan on the last roll, which is incredibly lucky, and I would have been very, very salty if I hadn't found it. 334 in the back. And we get matched with another Velociraptor team, but again, they've got um, they've got units that don't have 50 attack, and the 50 attack is actually in the back, and the four peppers is going to be enough to get the five orangutan team over the line in Star Pack. 